Hello everybody and welcome one, welcome all to the second allegedly annual ZMS Hunger Games. The first was posted in January of 2021 and because it's annual the next one will be posted in late 2023. Anyways, it has been a long time coming, the last Hunger Games was quite popular, but it's quite outdated for the ZMS server now, so I've taken it upon myself to create this new one. 24 tributes split into 12 districts, the districts are as such. For District 1 we have the Tryhards. Jen the Snail has been pushing himself in one-handed for as long as I can remember, and Yoruba is putting in the grind on two-handed, and maybe the best solver we have. Del Palmaro still currently has the official world records, but Yoruba's putting in the grind. In District 2, we have Philok and Orchestra for the OLS District. Philok is absolutely devouring OLS Elgs at the time of recording this. Uh, he hasn't learned it in full, but that could honestly change by the time I post this. And Orchestra is maintaining what I believe to be the best OLS sheet because it is formatted nicely. For District 3 we have OLS Continued where Sinewave is also making his own OLS sheet and Swagrid is sort of riding the coattails of Sinewave and Orchestra, making out from their sheets and using its option select with ZZCT. For District 4 we have the Old Blood, Dr. JT, formerly known as Papa Smurf, and Redstone Tim. In District 5, Old Blood continued, Kaylin has recently become active once again, and Neuro as well has been sending messages. When it comes to District 6, we have our resident not ZZers, Ray and Zakamoshi. District 7 is not ZZ except One Handed, where Farmy will be representing Rue and Sung Egg will be representing Zephop. In District 8, we have the New Age Solvers. These are people that are new around on the block, but that I believe are putting in the work. We have Luna7 and Judah. District 9 has our committed ZZ believers. Some people may believe ZZ is a better method, but these two people are ostensibly the most committed. <laughs> Featuring Pi and Matcha225. In District 10, you have the people that I forgot existed until very recently when they started sending messages again, Raven and Noobcuba. In District 11, we still have not ZZers with Trixie and F. And District 12 just has the miscellaneous ZZ users, Eote and Aquamelon. Before we dive into the actual Hunger Games themselves, I would just like to say, if you're not involved, that's because there's too many people to involve in a 24-man roster, and not enough to involve in a 36-man roster, so some people had to get the cut, my bad G. Uh, also, my apologies to Yoruba and Trixie for using outdated profile pictures, I was just too lazy to get modern ones. The Bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Farmy runs away from the cornucopia. Zakamoshi immediately gets in there and snaps Trixie's neck. Bro, he's not playing around. Redstone Tim books it away from the cornucopia, and, and can you blame him after seeing that? Aquamelon grabs a jar of fishing bait while Ray gets fishing gear. Philok grabs a backpack, not realizing it is empty, and Kaylin finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Daniel versus the cooler Daniel. <laughs> F grabs a backpack and retreats, and Pi rips a mace out of Mutch's hands. Alpha bird. Noobcuba takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Raven grabs a jar of fishing bait while Orchestra gets fishing gear. Swagrid snatches a pair of says. Dr. JT books it away from the cornucopia, as does Judah, as does Sinewave. Neuro goes in and grabs a sword, and Eote grabs a shovel. One of these seems significantly more useful than the other. Yoruba hides inside the cornucopia, and Sung Egg runs away from the cornucopia, and Luna7 just absolutely clocks Jen in the face for a basket of bread. As the bloodbath resides and we move into the bulk of day one, Sung Egg receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, and Neuro defeats Pi in a fight but spares his life. Could this be the beginning of a bromance? Aforementioned unknown sponsors send Swagrid a hatchet and Luna fresh food. Jen practices his archery, and Aquamelon bashes Kaylin's head in with a mace. Just because it would be funny, really. Orchestra tries to spearfish with a trident, and hey, one to three birds, one stone. Farmy, Redstone Tim, and Matcha track down and kill Philok. Raven travels to higher ground, and F attacks Judah, but Judah manages to escape. Sinewave just dies of thirst. Yoruba and Eote fight Zakamoshi and Dr. JT, with Yoruba and Eote coming out successful. Ray travels up to higher ground, and Noobcuba discovers a river. 
As we reach our first fallen tributes, six cannon shots are heard in the distance. Trixie of Still Not ZZ, Kalen of the Continued Old Blood, Philok of OLS, Sinewave of OLS Continued, Zakamoshi of Not ZZ, and Dr. JT of the Old Blood. As the dawn sky's deep blue streaks descend into the darkness of night, F loses sight of where he is, and Raven sees a fire but decides to avoid it and stay hidden. Luna, Pi, Noob Cuba, and Nero sleep in shifts, and Aquamelon sees a fire but decides to stay hidden. I wonder if it's the same one as Raven. Swagrid sets up camp for the night, and Orchestra climbs a tree to rest. Song Egg stays awake the entire night. Ray, Matcha, Eote, Yoruba, and Farmy all sleep in shifts. Jen thinks about winning. Come on, man, head in the game. And Redstone, Tim, cooks his food before putting his fire out. Which is something that Judah should have done, as Judah dies of dysentery. Day 2. Neuro is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Idiot. Matcha encounters Aquamelon, but manages to divert his attention and run away. Farmy attacks F, but F manages to escape, and Redstone Tim strangles Ray with a rope. Jen receives clean water from an unknown sponsor, and Luna begins to question her sanity. Raven, Song Egg, and Aote hunt for other tributes, which isn't something Pi needed to do, as he overheard Swagwood and Orchestra talking in the distance. And to finish the day off, Noob Cuba strangles Yoruba with a rope. For our second fallen tributes, we can hear three cannon shots. Judah of the New Age, Ray of Not ZZ, and Yoruba of the Tryhards. Through the second night, Redstone Tim, Orchestra, Swagrid, F, and Matcha sleep in shifts, while Noob Cuba, Luna, and Pi discuss the games and what may happen in the morning. Raven, on their own, attempts to start a fire, but fails. Jen tends to Nero's wounds. Eote, Farmy, and Sung Egg also discuss the games, and Aquamelon tries to treat his infection alone. Should have found Jen. As we reach the third morning, Sung Egg, Raven, Matcha, and Aquamelon raid Luna's camp while she's hunting. Orchestra and Jen split up to search for resources. Neuro runs away from F, and Farmy constructs a shack. That doesn't seem particularly useful. Redstone Tim just explores the arena and Swagrid overpowers Noob Cuba, killing him. Hey, that's kind of accurate to real life. I'm the fastest ZZCT solver now. <laughs> Pi questions his sanity, and Eote thinks about home. For our third fallen tributes, only one cannon shot is heard, for Noob Cuba. But I forgot they existed, so that's okay. In the darkness of the third night, Marcher and F hold hands. Orchestra, Pi, and Swagrid start fighting, but Pi runs away as Orchestra kills Swagrid. Aquamelon cries himself to sleep, and Raven decapitates Jen with the sword. Luna thinks about home, and Farmy tends to their wounds. Redstone Tim defeats Nero in a fight, but spares his life. Sung Egg stays awake all night, as does Eote. As the fourth day dawns, Raven defeats Eote in a fight, but spares his life which was not a mercy given to Farmy, who just got jumped by Nero and absolutely decimated. Aquamelon, Pi, Sung Egg, and F hunt for other tributes. Meanwhile, Matcha, Redstone, Tim, and Luna get into a fight, the sole victor of which was Matcha. And Orchestra constructs a shack. Bro, stop playing Fortnite. Stop cranking 90s in my Hunger Games simulator, I swear down. When it comes for the fourth time to pay respects to fallen tributes, five cannon shots ring out in the arena. Swagrid of OLS Continued, Jen of the Tryhards, Farmy of Not ZZ One Handed, Redstone Tim of the Old Blood, and Luna Seven of the New Age. In Night Four, Pi convinces Neuro to snuggle with him. Called it. Uh, that's my man. That's my guy, Pi. He's on the pull. Raven cooks his food before putting his fire out. Eote cooks his food before putting his fire out. F, Orchestra, Sung Egg, Matcha, and Aquamelon all sleep in shifts. The Feast The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tributes families. F and Aquamelon get into a fight over raw meat, but Aquamelon gives up and runs away. 
Neuro, Orchestra, Sung Egg, and Raven team up to grab food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. Matcha sets off an explosive, killing Pai, and Ote decides to skive, doesn't even go to the feast. With the special event over, the rest of Day 5 proceeds. Matcha receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, and Sung Egg dies from that. Didn't you literally just raid the- you teamed up to get supplies from the feast, and then you die of thirst not even 12 hours later? How is your resource management this bad? Oh my god. F attempts to sleep through the entire day, post-meal nap, I guess. Aquamelon, Raven, and Ote get into a fight, the sole winner of which was Ote. Neuro hunts for other tributes, while Orchestra also tries to sleep throughout the entire day. Four cannon shots are heard in the distance as the sun sets. Pi of the Committed Believers, Sung Egg of Not ZZ One-Handed, Aquamelon of the Miscellaneous ZZs, and Raven but I forgot they existed, so it's okay. On night 5, F receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, while Neuro, Orchestra, Matcha, and Ote all sleep in shifts. As we reach day 6, Matcha, Ote, Orchestra, and F hunt for other tributes, while Neuro just builds a shack. Wow! As nobody died in the last 24 hours, there's no cannon shots for the fallen tributes, but this would change in night 6. Neuro receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, and Ote would stab Matcha in the back with a trident. F defeated Orchestra in a fight, but spared him, which, I mean, it doesn't seem very wise this late in the game, but who am I to judge? On day 7, Neuro travels to higher ground, and Orchestra stabs F with a tree branch. What did I say? What did I say? Meanwhile, Ote just thought about home. For our seventh fallen tributes, two cannon shots are heard in the distance. Matcha of the Committed Believers and F of Still Not ZZ. In Night 7, the three remaining tributes, Orchestra, Neuro, and Eote, would get into a fight. A fight which Orchestra would win. The winner of the second quote unquote annual ZMS Hunger Games is Orchestra from the OLS District. Here are the placements on screen, and I would like to take a moment to hand out some awards that I personally have crafted up for this Hunger Games. The first award is Shortest Lived, which will go to Trixie for dying immediately in the bloodbath. The Bloodthirsty Award for Most Kills will go to Eote. The award for Worst Death will go to Sung Egg for dying of thirst 12 hours after raiding resources from the feast. Eager Fighter goes to Matcha, who I counted as having the most fights out of anyone, with four. The worst placing district was Not ZZ, that is the district that had Rei and Zakamoshi. And Legally Mid for placing 12th, Farmy. Thank you all for spectating the second allegedly annual ZMS Hunger Games. It was a lot of fun to put this on, not so much fun to edit the video, oh well. I'll just put up with it.